of late um, for a little for for a little bit now. Um, what's been happening with the shooting in Buffalo? Um, and you know that's crazy. We're not gonna you know uh, veer into that too much. As y'all know, man, on podcast we talk about uh, you know black perspective and culture from the biblical uh, lens and Christian you know millennial perspective, all that good stuff. But we just wanted to touch on this real quick. Because, you know, um, our, our topic this evening is, are we living our ancestors' wildest dreams, right? And it's so crazy, like, when this topic came to play, like, this event happened, you know, just almost right after. And it's like, you know, what y'all, what y'all, I don't know if y'all seen the video. I mean, like, I, I wouldn't oh, like yeah. sharing it, but it's just, like, it's wild. And it's the fact that, like, it never got taken down. It just stayed up. Like, you know, I mean, it has really? advisors, but yeah, it's still up. I don't think it's down yet. I haven't seen it at all. Honestly, I, I don't really have any uh, desire to check it out. It's probably pretty, you know, gruesome stuff, but it's, it's, uh, it's depressing, man, because it just seems like these things, there's no end to it, really. So one you know, there will be a shooting. Everyone will be up in arms about it. There'll be debates about, oh, you know, we need to take guns away. And other people will say, no, we need more guns. That, that debate happens for a little while. Time passes and it dies down and then no one really cares again. And so, the, you know, there's no really headway being made on these types of issues. And then until the next one comes again, and then the discussion starts all over again. And you'll see people on CNN, Fox News, all the news outlets, you know, showing how sad they are and this is such a tragic moment and blah 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 but then nothing really gets done you know and unfortunately um it's 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 really sad that anyone has to lose their life or be the victim of violence like this and uh but especially as black folks you know we're talking about buffalo specifically you know that's it's very upsetting this young man you know went out of his way to go do what he did and uh yeah, it's crazy you know he had he had malintent and uh he has to go through the justice system but i'm sure you know a lot of people wish they could take care of him themselves but it's just uh it's a tough thing to deal with and to to live knowing that you know that people can just there's not really much you can do to stop it people could just do whatever they want yeah man it's, it's sad i mean i personally haven't seen the video you know i was just just even thinking about it or hearing about it from the commentaries and the Anyways, but you know it's it's crazy because we talk about it, it's like you know can we take away guns you know get rid of guns and everything like that you know it's it's not only guns because in some countries people use them you know their bodies as the weapons you know you have people that are willing to literally they believe them sacrificing themselves in the middle of a mall taking out mass amount of people is the way of life you know what I'm saying? So it's not necessarily a gun that they're using, you know, but it's still a, it's a mass killing. So, you know, mass killings is going to happen to answer the question, you know, are we living <clears throat> ancestors? It's just, you know, <laughs> it's an ongoing cycle. It's sad to say it's an ongoing cycle and that's just the way the world is and it shouldn't be that way, but it's what it is, man. Yeah, I mean, you know, because like I mean, I saw the video and it's like, it, it's, you know, it's definitely no good stuff. And the fact that like he had, you know, the N word like written on his barrel, like, you know what I'm saying? And and like, he literally like DTA said, drove two, three hours away to a predominantly black neighborhood and, you know, spared the life of, of a Caucasian male that was there and literally kept on going and finding other people. It's, it's ridiculous. Hey, what's happening? It's Daryl James, the coolest member of the Hold Your Point podcast. Hey, be sure to like, share, and subscribe to this. We are coming with more videos. Pie your head top. Bye.